Welcome to the first day of the expansion. First deck I want to try out is Quest Shaman because I think, I mean, you saw my top 10. I rated Corrupt the Waters, the top class card, and I think this deck could create a completely different meta. So I took out the Overload stuff. The Overload stuff was meant to try to be better against aggro, but why not just put in Bellacries that are good against aggro, such as Sandstorm Elemental and Mind Control Tech. Let's see how it goes. The Madman! Alright, so the problem with the quest shaman is sometimes they don't have an answer to coin Toto. That's uh, pretty big. If this goes off twice, then really good deal. And if I were to sometimes get lucky and get a card that like plus two health to this or does two damage, then that's even better. Sadly, I didn't get one here. But we're still looking good. I think I might want to... Play Menacing Nimbus instead of the quest right now. The lower, speak to For the tempo? Me. Nah. What's was worth thinking about. Sadly I got one of the lackeys that isn't proactively good. Wow. Double questing explore. So lackey. Hmm, I'll take something that could be good. Five plus cost spell you actually run in this deck. Don't think I like it. But there are a number of choices. Earthquake. Bring the toads. Come bring it. For my glory. The calm before the storm. Hey, I got you, friend. I think the button is worth pressing just for an extra spell here. Counter. It's going to be okay. Magma Rager synergy is real. And zap, just to zap something. X. I already have Hagatha's scheme, which deals with a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna go mystery box. Mm, okay. I think I would actually choose this over zap. 
Eh, I don't know if I would do that, actually. Kinda close. That belongs in the museum. For my glory, I will not be rushed. For my glory. Eureka! Oh. And gives away the fact that I have an MCT. Oh, value. Let's see, so I've seen... I haven't seen a Hex. I don't run Hex in this deck. Hmm. Let's go for it. Who are you? X marks the spot. Oh. Alright, do I want to hack this scheme this stuff yet? Not really. That didn't go as bad. Well, that's a bigger deck than expected. It's hard playing around mind control tech since I showed the MCT. Resummon this minion, it's like two mana remove something. That smash is pretty solid here. Overkill! You belong to the bog now! In case I need the recovery. Sure. <laughs> oh, whoops. Too bad I wasn't on the uh, trigger fast enough for the potential mutate. Is good by default. I need fuel. That's good by default. And that's good by default. Cool. And that's a good card to mutate. Interesting. So, I'll get a bunch of Murlocs, play the Stormbringer on them. Easy game. Winds of the South, come to my aid! Alright. Nice. Brilliant! No answer to that. That's a little bit spooky. 
I mean, I do have an answer to it. Could choose to use it. No, stop! I'll take the last one. Here, stormy, stormy. Don't have anything huge I want to play right now, so I think it's this one better. Okay. Ridiculous, but okay. God, it actually worked. Hmm. I should have killed this one. No, I shouldn't have, because there's like a... Probably gonna draw AoE, if there is AoE. Oh my. The... Oh! A dream! Shattered. Take this one to the end. From nothing. Power. This is the new control warrior versus control warrior. Both sides are generating so much value and can develop answers that they want. Uh, he hasn't played Swamp Queen Hagatha yet, so I still have to deal with that nightmare. Neither of us have played Shutterwalk yet, which is like the end game's mega value. Unexpectedly large value influx. Alright, discover a spell that I should play pretty much. Hmm. I don't have any comeback cards. I do have a lot of comeback cards. Wow, this is terrible. I'll take pork lightning. Alright, take that. Okay, I'll play the mind control tech. Let me think about this one. I have 8 mana, 7, 5, 2. That should work. Probably still the same play. I don't know that one instead. for that. I forget that this is two of them. It's 
last time. Yeehaw. Okay, so Shutterhawk is currently generating like 10. 15. Something like that. Probably want to cast Stormbringer yet again. What do I want to return for more value? It would be Ethereal Wacky if I were aiming for value. 7, 14, 19, 22, 25. Do I have Lethal? If I can get rid of the 2, 6, I have Lethal. Lethal? It's a good backup plan. Oh, those are totems, unfortunately. The value train, it keeps rolling. Do I have lethal yet? One, four, six. No. Thus far, horror is gonna start being bad because of overdress. So awkward. Let's just do very simple play. Wind Fury taunt. Find shield rush. The value is ridiculous. For my glory. Whatever. I guess I'll just cast the Shutterwalk. Fine. Back to the boy. What'll happen? I actually don't know. But I know I missed out on about nine value worth of cards. Actually missed out on about how much value is that? <laughs> That's a lot of value. Yeah. Look at all the value that could have been. Hmm. I think we missed like all of the later half of this part of this. Not the later half. I missed all of the later 90% of it. <laughs> okay, what I've learned from this game is, I guess against the mirror, you almost never want to take cards that draw cards. You stand before King Rastakan. Okay, this is fun. I hope it's Quest Priest. I don't know how well it'll do. 
the science. Even though this doesn't draw a spell, it still activates the uh, quest. That's reasonable. The so Haunting Visions is basically a mystery box, but at least I get to discover it. But it's not great. Eh, I think Plague of Murloc should be good here. They're expected to get some really big stuff. And I'm going to pass because this deck isn't really a face deck. I don't want to help Harande with the quest there. Uh, this should already be a decent Plague of Murloc spot, but I think I can wait a little bit. Well, actually, let's just do it. They've only got, what, three cards left? Let's do it. That didn't go as bad. Hmm. I'm trying to keep the opponent healthy. So, I'm gonna pretty much never attack. Until the quest is done. So reduced 3 health in stats, and then 1-2 in stats. Not bad, I guess. But that was like one of the worst draws for me. around the low roll. I want to heart the evil cable rat, so I shouldn't just play evil cable rat here. And I also want to heart sludge slurper. Probably good enough to just do one of them. I guess it'll be sludge slurper. Hey, I got you, friend. So by not damaging them, I basically heal myself, so it's the right play for the opponents to heal me now. Even better if I steal the healing. Yes, yeah, like almost always outperforms Zilliac. Unlucky. Deloa, speak to me. Oh wait, I just like completely... No, no, that's fine. At this point, since he can heal me, I can start doing damage. I kind of just automatically started going face there at the end while I was roping the... I think uh, it's around time to start doing damage in the room. That's some value. But is it as much value as this value? for him. Of course it's the right way. Of course it's the right way. Wow. Value. Ah. 
Badum, badum. I've got more left in me. The obelisk is activated. It's time to steal your credit. I'm gonna need room for three guys. I can lose one guy. Engaging TC-130, mental dislocator. Be solid. before the storm. I will not be rash. <laughs> Unity, precision, perfection. Snick or snack? Mind control tech is going off. My hand's actually fairly low. I get some random stuff in my hand. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Speak to me. My jaws that oh no! One AoE damage went first. <laughs> Double beast value. Amazing. Do you like to play with fire? It appears that you might be out of value there, sir. That is unfortunate, because I still have much value. Land on that, so therefore, I guess that's best. You'd think that since the reborn thing is like such a big glowy thing that you wouldn't forget, but I forgot, I must admit. It's too glowy, so you tend to forget it. Let's see, right now my hand size is 7, I return this into my hand, it'll cost uh, 12 minus 6. You belong to the bog now. It's gonna be a seven. I have enough cards in hand that should cost nothing in short order. Of the 
Seven, twelve, twelve. Kind of reminds me of four, seven, seven somehow. I must protect you. You stand before King. Oh man. So here's a potential weakness of Questrude, which is the next deck that I'm going to play. Point Evil Totem. They cry every time. They'd have to be running the uh, one mana deal two card. That's such a big punish. Yeah, it's worth, it's probably worth, yes, it's worth playing Wrath here. To, uh, skip the quest once to kill the totem. But yes, it's so brutal. On a side note, I'm starting to think that Witch's Apprentice should be cut from the deck. The spells you get are often unusable. This is going to come down to a value versus value deck. I need to try to save the value generator for the value 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 value. So I'll try to play five ballot cries that isn't evil cable rat. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're fine. You just value value the value 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 because when you double value the value you get double the value of the double value oh that's tempo Ooh, it counts good technology too bad didn't have it earlier i guess on how much I consider the 2-3 a threat versus the 2-2. Two, two. So I'm gonna need to start building up a bunch of AoE for the quest. Uh, so I want to save that in my hand and save this in my hand. This is the lowest value card. Play this, value, 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 hey, value, value, friends. is that too much value? No, that's just enough value. Hey, I got you, friend. Imagine if you managed to always get Dr. Boom level of value starting turn 7. I mean, here I'm getting it on turn 5, so... Often by turn 6, sometimes by turn 5. Valley, value, valley, valley, value. Valley, 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 value. Imagine that amount of value. That's a lot of value. Difficult to know what I'm gonna do with all this value. That's the value I wanted there. Value, value. Good thing Druid doesn't have anything to deal with wide boards. Other than Swift. Oh, hold on, they have the Starfall card. I'm done. Yeah, that's good value. The Earth Mother was busy. I must safeguard the land. The 
this button. <laughs> it's so much value. Get away my least valuable cards. Bouncing this back is actually just unrealistic because I have too much value. From nothing. Oh. Yeah, that's a... Uh, could be a win condition. Hey, that could be a win condition also. There's a... Uh, it's unfortunate that I got both. Since one is a... Uh, one pretty makes... One makes the other obsolete. But there might be a situation where I'd cast one over the other. The Earth Mother was busy. Let's see, is this lethal? 136, 8, 11, 12, plus 18 is 30. So, yes. 18. But I have to do. Yes, I can do that. Wow, I managed to win on turn 8 with like an overflowing hand! Value, 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 value. I feel icky with all that value and a turn 8 kill. Legends of the past know exactly what 